Good morning, everyone, and welcome to BRCC Sunday School class. Today, we are going to learn that Jesus brings hope, so we're hopeful. One thing that Jesus said is that he's preparing a special place for people who love him. So that is what our lesson is going to be about today, is about how Jesus brings us hope. Now, if you have your Bibles, like this one, we're going to turn to the book of John, which is in the New Testament, and we're going to turn to chapter 14. This is one of my favorite group of verses in the whole Bible. They're all great, but this one has a really special meaning for me. Um, there's something really hopeful about knowing that you get to go to a special place, isn't it? Well, Jesus brings us hope because he's with us now and he's preparing a special place for us. Let's see what else he said about that in the Bible. Now, we've talked about this before, but the Bible is a really special book, unlike any other book you read. And it's full of hopeful messages. Plus, with the Bible, God is right here with you, ready to talk to you. Okay, I have a question for you guys, okay? Have you guys ever had to move uh, to a different place or maybe had one of your uh, good friends move? I know I've had to move and it was really hard when I just right before my 16th birthday, I had to move to a whole nother town. I had to leave all of my really good special friends and I was worried because I didn't know if I was going to make new friends, if I was going to like them or if they were going to like me and I really felt really hopeless. Um, how about you? How, if you guys that have had to move or had a good friend move away, uh, how did you feel when your friends were, se you and your friends were separated? Yeah, I know you guys were sad too. Well, today's Bible story takes us, uh, this takes place just before Jesus was about to die on the cross. And he'd spent about three years with his friends, the disciples, and he knew that he was ready to, to leave them. And that could have felt like a hopeless time to the disciples, just like it felt like a really hopeless time to me when I had to move. Because after all, they had left everybody they knew and their friends and everything they had, they just left to follow Jesus. And I'm sure they were wondering what they were going to do without him. But Jesus didn't want to leave them without hope because Jesus brings hope. So he said a bunch of things that would help bring them hope. What he told them, well, that can bring us hope too. Let me share with you what Jesus said. And this is something that brought me hope. So we're going to turn to the book of John. And we're going to look in chapter 14. And right now I'm going to read verses 1 through 3. Jesus said, don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. I would not tell you this if it were not true. I am going there to prepare a place for you. After I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back. Then I will take you to be with me so that you may be where I am. Wow, that's a pretty comforting uh, uh, verses, aren't they? And they certainly bring us hope. So let's close our eyes and imagine that Jesus is preparing a place for you. Okay, so close your eyes and imagine the very best, best room that you can think of. 
Think of how that room would be designed and what would be in it. Okay, think hard. You got that room in, in your mind? All right, so think about that room as, as we finish our lesson. When Jesus said there's plenty of room in his father's house, he was saying that there's going to be lots of room in heaven. There's a room for me there. There's a room for you there. There's a room for all people who love Jesus there. And Jesus is preparing that place just for us. It'll be better than that room that we just imagined in our minds. And that brings us hope. All right. In our story, one of the disciples, whose name was Thomas, he felt really confused about the way to the place that Jesus was, was preparing. He didn't quite understand it, and he would, didn't know how he was going to get there. So, let's read Jesus' answer to him. So, we are going to read verses 4 through 7. And that says, you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to Jesus, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. The only way to the Father is through me. If you really knew me, then you would know my Father too. But now you do not know him, and you have seen him. All right. What does it mean that Jesus is the way? Well, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life for everyone. The way to heaven is by loving Jesus and following him. That's a really amazing message of hope. We don't have to work really hard or live a perfect life to get to heaven, thank goodness, because we all know that would never happen then because none of us are perfect. Uh, but Jesus brings hope. He made a way for us to get to heaven when he died on the cross. And that hope isn't just for heaven. Loving and following Jesus gives us a more hopeful life here on earth. When we believe in Jesus, we can find hope, even in the hopeless times when we're sad or we just feel like nothing's going right. Jesus even left us the Holy Spirit so that we know that God is with us right now. When things feel hopeless, turn to Jesus for hope. He's happy to give us hope for today, plus hope for an eternal life in heaven. Jesus brings hope. All right, guys, Jesus brings hope, so we're hopeful even when life feels hopeless. Um, so, Let's, uh, I'm going to share, I want you guys to think about something that makes you feel hopeless, okay? I'm going to think of something uh, that makes me feel hopeless sometimes. Um, let's see, um, I have Jesus, so it's hard to think of when I don't have, sometimes I worry about um, my children. You know, as, as parents, we always worry about our kids. And when one of mine uh, doesn't do well in school or they're sick, I might start to feel worried about them and I don't feel hopeful. But I know that I can pray and that the Holy Spirit and Jesus will make me feel hopeful again. And that's what we need to do when you're feeling hopeless. So let's pray right now, okay? We're going to pray to, to Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you for bringing us hope. Help us feel hopeful no matter what happens. In your name I pray, amen. All right, guys, so let's remember we pray and 
when we feel hopeless and we turn to Jesus because he has shown us the way because Jesus is hope. All right, until next week, we'll see you then. Bye.